Hi everybody, this is Josh Kolf. We are learning in Daf Tet Zayin, page 16 of Masechet Bava Kama for Daf Shuri. Uh, I hope everybody had a good and, and meaningful Yom Kippur, and I hope that you are preparing uh, for Sukkot. Uh, I wanted to go over the Mishnah that appears on this page, and then just talk a little bit about the Pshat of the, um, the Torah, which uh, talks about a Tam and a Muad. So, uh, just a couple words here. The words Tam and Muad uh, unattested danger, attested danger, innocent, warned, however we translate them, do not appear in the Torah. Uh, they are the rabbi's interpretations for uh, differences between uh, some verses in Exodus 21. Uh, here the mission that I'm referring to asks the question, what is the difference between a tam, an unattested danger, and a muad, of course, an attested danger. Of course, we already know that there is one major difference, and that is that for damages done by a tom, an unattested danger, the owner pays half damages, and for damages done by the muad, he pays full damages. This Mishnah wants another difference between them, and the Mishnah says, Elisha tam mishalem chetzi nezek migufo, that when you pay damages for a tom, you pay half damages from the body of the animal, and I'll explain that term in a minute. Umuad mishalem nezek shalem min ha'aliyah. And that for a muad, an attested danger, you pay the best, um, you pay full damages from the best of your property. Uh, and that's pretty clear, right? If my animal is a muad and it goes and kills your animal or does some kind of damage to you and I have to pay full damages, then I have to pay whatever the damages were, full compensation. But the, um, the chetzi nezek, the case of the muad of half damages, is a little less clear. So I wanted to show where that comes from, what the ramifications are. I'm going to read for you Exodus 21:35. Vechi gof shor ish et shor re'ehu vamit. When an animal, um, uh, an ox, gores uh, his neighbor's ox, and his neighbor's ox dies, umachru et shor hachai vechatzu et kaspo. So you should sell the living ox and divide its money. And also, the dead ox, you should also divide. Now this, if both oxen are worth the same, this will add in, will come up to half damages. Let's say my 200, and assuming that the carcass is not, well, assuming, that, well, we'll get to the carcass in a second. Let me just go backwards. All right, assuming, let's say my animal is worth 200 and yours is worth 200. And my animal gores your animal and kills it, and now the carcass is worth 50. So we divide the live ox, I get 100 and you get 100, and we divide the dead ox, I get 25 and you get 25. So I'll end up with 125, and you will end up also with 125. Now how is that half damages? Well, your ox was originally worth 200, and at the end it was worth 50, so the damages were 150 and you had 200 when we started off, and now you have 125. So you have recovered 75 of the damages. Or, uh, so that's where we get the principle of half damages. Right? The damages were 150, and you got back, uh, you end up with, uh, wait, well, the, the original ox was worth 200, and you end up with 125. 75 is half of 200 minus 50. I hope the math there all makes sense. You can work it out, you can write to me, I will explain it to you again. But um, the important thing over here is, what if there is like a vast difference in the value? So the rabbis would say something like this. Let's say the, the goring ox was worth 400, 100, and the gored ox was worth 400, and now it's worth 50 when it's dead. If we divide this up, right, you would get 50 of my live ox, and I would get, and we both get 25, we would both end up with 75, but you lost 350. That doesn't seem so fair. Okay, so the rabbis sort of abandon that and say, look, in that case, we don't assess just half damages. However, there's a cap. You can never, if my animal is Tom, you can never take more damages than the entire value of my animal. So if mine was 100 and yours is worth 400, now it's worth 50, you basically would take the entire 100. Again, the simple biblical system would say you take 50 from my ox and 25 from your ox, and you're only getting 75. 
Rabbis don't say that. They're a little bit more generous, but because you can, uh, the damaging party can never pay more when it's a tom than the value of the ox that did the damages. All right, I like math. I hope you like math. I think it's a very interesting um, uh, attention between the pshat, the simple reading of this pasuk, and how the rabbis work it out, what elements from the original meaning are retained, and what elements are left. Um, but i would leave you that to work out more on your own. Uh, Chag Sameach to everybody, and I look forward to another year, many, many, many more years of learning together with you.